Welcome back to my bathroom. So on my last video and a couple other videos, I saw it was very requested to do a makeup tutorial. Now I do already have a makeup tutorial up. I think it was my first video. The editing on it is really bad. I didn't even know that I was supposed to record videos um, horizontally instead of vertically. But it is my everyday makeup routine. So if you wanna go ahead and check that out, that's the makeup I do pretty much every day. You'd think someone like me who's been around all the top professional makeup artists in the world and had my face like kicked by them and everything would be able to do makeup better but it just doesn't translate like I know what I'm supposed to do I've heard all the tips I've seen all like the inside scoop but my hands just like don't work that way I can't really do eyeliner or anything fancy I'm just not an artistic person in that sense of the way I just wanted to say before I get started that I'm not a beauty blogger never will be a beauty blogger and my makeup collection is pretty minimal because I rarely do my own makeup and I'm also not very good at putting on makeup. So please keep that in mind when you're watching this video. This is just for fun because you guys asked for it. Here is my going out makeup routine. I have two foundations that I use, uh, Garnier BB Cream and uh, YSL Touch Eclat. This one I haven't been using a lot lately because it's a little bit too dark for my face right now since it's winter and I'm really pale so I've been using this as my go-to foundation. They're both very minimal coverage. I'm not a person who likes to wear a lot of foundation. I'd rather have like a couple imperfections show through and just feel like I'm not wearing a lot of makeup rather than just completely cover over everything and have a really caked up face. But there's no shame in that game. If you're a girl who likes to wear a lot of heavy foundation, major props to you. I know I couldn't do it. I think going out with a lot of foundation on would be like, I feel like my skin couldn't breathe. So I like to wear minimal coverage foundation. I'm gonna use the YSL uh, Touch Eclat. Uh, you can get this from Sephora, that's where I got it. Uh, I think it's like 50 or 60 dollars, but it's really good. It's like barely there makeup, which is my favorite kind of makeup. Next, after I put on my foundation, I'm going to contour, and I use the Smashbox contour palette, but I broke it, so like literally there's no top, I just put it in like a Ziploc bag, and I definitely need a new one because it's almost out, and I don't even know how old this is, but it works good. And my makeup brushes are just from Walgreens, like they're not expensive ones at all. Gonna take some of the foundation and blend. It's so weird doing makeup in my phone instead of like a mirror. So if I don't blend right, it's because it's kind of not as easy to see. Next, I put on some blush. I've really been loving the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush. I just love the texture of it. It's really like creamy and smooth. And I'm not a big powder person, so anytime I can get away from makeup products that are powdered, I'm a happy camper. That's one tip I've learned from working with makeup artists is when they put the blush on there, I was like, smile. So you go like this, you're just choosing. Uh, this side looks like it has more. Right? Even, kind of even. Next I'm going to uh, highlight and add a little more pop of color on the cheeks. I've really been liking L'Oreal's uh, True Match uh, Lumi. Just put it right under the eyes, just to give it a nice pop of highlight. Next, I'm going to do my eyebrows. A lot of you have asked for my eyebrow care routine. I don't pluck them, I don't thread them, I don't get extensions. I just fill them in uh, occasionally. So I'm going to use this eyebrow pencil. Uh, I lost the lid to it. You guys probably think I have like the jankiest makeup collection in the world. 
half the stuff doesn't have lids, they're missing tops, but I just put them in a little Ziploc baggie and I'm like, well, that was good enough for me. You can really tell that I don't do makeup often. This just gives them like more like, I rarely fill them in with a pencil. Usually I just use this Maybelline Brow Drama because it's the best. Next, I'm gonna put on my eyeshadow. I love the Naked palettes. They're literally the only palettes I've really used since I first started wearing makeup when I was 17. I really just love the shade. So my favorite shade in this palette is Sidecar, which you can tell because it's like the most used one. And then I'm gonna pop just a little of the Sin color. Uh, it's a really light, pretty pink. I'm gonna pop it in the corner to just like brighten up my eyes. Okay, this is the part of the video I've been dreading, putting on eyeliner, really bad at it. I couldn't tell you the last time I put on eyeliner myself. This is the eyeliner I've been using literally since I was 17 in high school. It's the Maybelline Define a Line and I get it in the brownish one because I feel like black eyeliner sometimes looks too harsh on me because I have like pale skin and eyes and hair. even please tell me it's even mm, it's even enough for me I'm not even gonna try to do anything fancy like a winged eyeliner because that would just be a catastrophe the mascara I am not loyal to one mascara I go back and forth all the time I know Dior makes a really good one, that's probably my favorite, but I'm actually out of it at the moment. So I'm going to be using L'Oreal's Voluminous one. Oh my god! Ugh, I do this literally every time! On well, my bottom lashes, I love Great Lash by Maybelline. One of my favorite mascaras of all time because it's really uh, tiny. You can see if the camera will focus. It's really tiny, so it's very easy to get those like tiny little lashes on the bottom. So I love it as like a bottom lash mascara. And I'm gonna do this in the mirror because it's very hard to do makeup just looking at the phone screen, especially when it's something as tiny as your lower lashes. So, BRB. And now that I've put on my bottom mascara, I'm gonna pop on my concealer, just under my eyes. I love the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It's one of my favorite beauty products. Can't forget to blend. I feel like the key to good makeup is all about the blending. The last step would be to put on some lipstick. Lately, I've been loving this uh, from NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. The shade I get is called uh, Con. And it smells so good too, like vanilla. And then I take a sponge. This might be a little weird. I've never seen anybody do this. I take a sponge and just kind of dab it off. That way it looks a little less intense. Then, let my hair down. are ready for a night on the town. I hope this video was at the least entertaining to you guys even though I'm not the best at putting on makeup and instructing others how to put on makeup. If you have any other requests for videos please comment them below. I love reading your comments and you guys give me the best ideas and inspiration. I also want to say thank you for 90,000 subscribers. I'm honestly... What? 90,000 people? Like you guys, I grew up in a town that was 15 thousand people. So the thought of having 90,000 people viewing my videos is just blows my mind. 
Can I also just show you guys before I end this video my janky light situation? I don't have a ring light or anything like that. I literally brought the lamp in from the living room and I just propped it up in the corner and I'm using that and just light from my bathroom window. And that's it. Now I have to go put this lamp back in the living room. So I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Over and out.